Hey there guys, Simply H here again, coming at you with another video. This one's a little bit different to the others. Today I want to tell you about a creature from South Africa. Um, it's called the Tokoloshi. For this I need to take you to the KwaZulu-Natal district, um, because the Tokoloshi is from, from um, Zulu descent. It's also known as a Healy, which is a dwarf-like dwarf water sprite. It's considered a mischievous and evil spirit that can become invisible by drinking water or even swallowing a pebble. Tokoloshis are called upon by benevolent people to cause trouble for others. At its least harmful, a tokoloshi can be used to scare children, but its power extends to causing illness or even death of the victim. The creature might be banished by a nyanga, which is a witch doctor, who has the power to expel it from the area. And then another explanation for the tokoloshi is um, that it resembles a bit of a zombie or poltergeist or gremlin um, and it's created by South African shamans who have been offended by someone. They then send the tokoloshi to the way of the person that offended them. The tokoloshi may also wander causing mischief wherever it goes so not just to the person that it's <laughs> intended to um, but particularly school children. Other details include at its gremlin-like appearance and gouged out eyes. The Tokoloshi, according to the Zulu shaman Credo Mutwa, Mutwa, has been known to take on many forms as a Tokoloshi or, or as a bear-like human being. Um, some Zulu people and other South African tribes are still superstitious when it comes to things like the supposedly fictional Tokoloshi, a hairy creature created by a wizard to harm his enemies. Also known though, to rape women and bite off sleeping people's toes. According to legend, the only way to keep a tokolo it's to put a brick underneath each leg of one's bed. However, this will not protect anything but the person whose bed it is, along with the bed itself, as it may instead cause havoc not only said people, but to everything around them. They get their power from a hot poker thrust into the crown of the body during creation. There is another deterrent, and this is by setting traps. But as I mentioned before, enlist the help of your local witch doctor. Guys, I want to thank you for listening today. Please check out the videos I've linked below. Yeah.